All right, Jackie, thanks so much. Our tech expert, founder of Tech After Five, Phil Yanoff, joins us live here in the studios to talk about the latest release by Facebook, Facebook Messenger Rooms. Phil, thanks so much for being here. Happy to be here. I fully expect you to show up in your Batman outfit because according to your avatar on <laughs> Facebook. That's right. You're Batman. I know, I, that's the job <laughs> I want. They say dress for the job you want. I should have dressed yeah. as Batman. A lot of people took time over the weekend to create their avatar, but we're talking about this new feature on Facebook called Messenger Rooms. This is a new chat app, right? Yeah, so basically it is a super casual but open uh, video chat capability, right? So I okay. can at any time just start it up and I could have people join me in the chat room. Okay, you say super casual. I think that's very important because last week when Amy was trying this out, I dipped in on one of her room conversations. I thought I was being rude, but that's perfectly fine as long as you get an invite, right? I think you should at least think about what you're doing before you do it. I'm just this morning, <laughs> I opened up one of these rooms and my buddy shows up I, and another friend was talking and my buddy shows up in his bathrobe. And I thought, you know, I don't know if everybody was quite ready for that. So so how do we navigate all of this? How, how does it work? Walk us through it. Yeah, so the easiest thing is you bring up Messenger either in the Facebook app or in the Messenger app on your phone. But okay. you can do this on the web browser as well. And it just goes to create room. And when you create that room, it kind of sets it up and then it immediately begins telling your friends, hey, Phil or Ben is out there in a room and he's open to chat. But you can take the link and send it to other people and have them join you right away. Okay. Is this somehow a response to the popularity and the success of Zoom? Is this Facebook reacting to that? Almost certainly, right? Now, yeah. Zoom is more of a professional tool. There's a lot of things you can do in Zoom you can't do on Facebook Messenger, but what Facebook Messenger has that nobody else, they know that you're on Facebook already, right? That's right. You started with Facebook, all your friends are on Facebook. Remember, it's the size of a country. Press the button and invite them in. That's right. Amy made that point last week. We were chatting about it in the newsroom, uh, the new Messenger Room app, and um, you know, Facebook has got the numbers. So, I mean, could this spell the beginning of the end for Zoom, or do you think that... That's a different tool. I mean, I, I, I think it's, it's a competitor. It's very similar, though, though, isn't but it? But what, I mean, what I say by different is it is aimed at a professional audience. So the folks who are using it for casual get-togethers, book clubs, those kind of gaming, I think they'll probably okay. put that away. The business people who were using it for business uses, I think they'll keep it. But if I just want to get together with friends, it used to be, oh, I'd set up a Zoom call, but it was kind of a pain in the neck. This is not a pain in the neck. It's a couple of buttons and off it goes. And it's free. And it's free, supports up to 50 people in a call. That's pretty good. That's a lot of people. Okay. And is there, is there an ability to record? There is the not. There's, I mean, it is not built into this. You can do things. You can play games inside. There's all kinds of great filters. The backgrounds are way better than Zoom. Uh, and really? you can take pictures inside. Yeah, the backgrounds have parallax in them. So if you slide around, the background slides with you. Okay, so different, uh, much more back rooms than Zoom. What else? is different in rooms than, let's so, say, compared to Zoom. So to tell you about the casual side of this, right, there mm -hmm. are games built into it. So some of those pictures that we showed earlier, they show us playing a game. So, and the game is based on you in the video. So it could be a thing like uh, catch. It puts a basketball hoop on your head and you catch basketballs going back and forth or a lineup with the kittens or other kinds of silly games that are just kind of fun to play. But they're super casual. They set up instantly and you just begin to play. Okay, we have about 30 seconds left. Uh, any. I mean, with any of these things, there are always privacy concerns, I would yeah. imagine, right? So here's the deal. Uh, if you are super concerned about what Facebook knows about you, this probably tells them a little bit more, and you've got to figure out how you feel about that. It's not end-to-end -end encrypted. At least they said that up front, right? But there is a, a way for you to get people who are both on Facebook and people who are not on Facebook in a room and talking. I think for the people who are, who are okay with Facebook, I think they're going to think this is okay, too because it's so easy to use. It's just absolutely charming. Okay, and you promised to walk me through it a little bit. Yeah, absolutely, I okay. think it'd be great fun. We'll try it out. All right, Phil, thanks so much. Always a good time when you, you stop by, appreciate it. Thanks, Ben. And you're watching Carolina's Family at Four. Stay with us, much more coming up. All right. Thanks.